Well, the House of Representatives did it. And not with a bang, but with a whimper. Alex Jones here reporting for InfoWars.com. And looking into the eyes of my children as I just put them to bed, I feared for their future. You see, there is a goal that all tyrants, that all special interests throughout history have lusted and sought after, and that is control of government. The true ruling class does not get their power out of manufacturing automobiles or computers or writing a book that people want to buy, but out of controlling the issuance of currency and credit. And once you have control of that, you can destroy entire societies. As George Washington said, the power to tax is the power to destroy. And many other of our founding fathers said basically the same thing. America is being conquered financially through fraud. And when I saw Mitch McConnell two weeks ago, the leader of the Republicans in the Senate, say that they would just give Obama the power of the purse, I thought it was uh, something out of a nightmare. It was surreal. And then they said, don't worry, we'll create a 13-member council. And people keep saying 13-member. Like there's six House and six Senate. That's 12. But the president has a veto and is involved in the consultations. And that's in this article out of CBS News I'm about to show you in a moment. But at the end of the day, this really is treason. And it's par for the course, but it gets worse by degree every day now. We saw the president launch a war in Libya for the first time ever without consulting Congress. Even Bush, with his wicked war in Iraq, went to Congress because it's the law. Even Dick Cheney did. We've seen carbon taxes outside of Congress. The ATF announcing new gun laws without having law. And we've written articles about it, so is the mainstream media. Across the board, this is happening because there's a continuity of agenda between the parties and between the ruling class at the top. But the fact that they've had to create not a blue ribbon commission, this is not some commission that makes a recommendation, but this new super Congress, in their own words, that uh, creates the laws, writes up the bills, brings them in, and then if the House and Senate don't pass them, it's implemented anyway. Well, that's bizarre. It's like, you either do this or we do it. And it's being reported on in a nonchalant way, like it's no big deal and totally legitimate. Because it's all done with straight faces by the Republican and Democratic leaders who are larcenous criminals. Harry Reid, Boehner. I mean, look at these guys. Uh, Boehner was the protege of Newt Gingrich, who helped destroy the true constitutional movement in 1994. Gingrich, who calls for world government and carbon taxes and then gets hailed as a conservative. <laughs> this is about debt bondage. Uh, and so I thought I would just show you from CBS, for those of you that are in denial out there. And again, the, the world won't end tomorrow, just like it didn't end when, unless you were being bombed in Libya when four months ago, Obama said, I don't need the Congress for approval. I have the UN. Or when he gives waivers to General Electric on coal power plants but shuts down their competition, your power prices just go up. And when thousands of Obama supporter companies get health care waivers but your company doesn't, you just go out of business. You know, life goes on, but we slowly go into greater and greater tyranny. But, but why is there all this incredible activity right now? Because the system has engineered the complete collapse on record as the IMF and World Bank documents have shown that have been leaked. The first ones we got back in 2002. This is all planned, just like in Greece and Ireland. They admit that over 90% of that debt's not owned by the Irish or the Greeks, that the private banks came in and bought, bought off their politicians and had them sign on to their derivatives that the banks have created. This is economic takeover. Humans are designed to challenge another tribe coming to your cave trying to kill you and enslave you kill the men and slay the women and children. We're designed to face a cave bear coming in to get us. We're, we're designed to face a mugger. But we're not designed to face a bunch of oily politicians and lawyers and all this fine print. But when you read the fine print, it tells you what's happening. So the republic is dying with a whimper, not a bang. And here is CBS News. You can look it up for yourself. A summary of the debt ceiling compromise. And just calmly, like they're talking about the price of shampoo at 
Walgreens or something, they admit in here, right here it says the agreement, that's right here, creates a 12-member House and Senate Special Committee to identify further spending cuts. The committee was work and complete its work by Thanksgiving, November 23rd, and Congress must hold an up or down vote on the committee recommendations. No filibuster, no amendments. By December 23rd, the committee, now here's the key, could overhaul the tax code or find savings and benefit programs like Medicare, Medicaid, or Social Security. That means cutting those. Congress could not modify the committee's recommendation. Now here it is. Should the special committee deadlock or should Congress reject the committee's recommendations? Well, listen to this. You do what the committee says, or the automatic across-the-board spending cuts of at least $1.2 trillion would go into effect. Yeah, automatic across the board. They're the ones writing the spending cuts that will be made. They're the ones that set up the automatic spending cuts. So they get what they want. Congress doesn't even count. And it gets worse. Larry Pratt and others of Gun Owners of America have pointed out, that, and Harry Reid's bragged in the news, we showed that earlier, that this affects all laws, everything. This is a new system. This is a new system of government in our constitutional republic, in everyone's face. I mean, this is so big, I can't believe I'm seeing this. Now, remember, and we covered this in earlier reports, Bush signed executive orders and presidential decision directives saying during any economic crisis or any other crisis, he could suspend Congress. I mean, Congress would still be there, but the president would make all the decisions and the special interest that control him. And Obama has threatened to use this, and they've sold it as a 14th Amendment power. It was used in Reconstruction after the Civil War, but against the states, not against Congress. But they don't need to do that. They have these two hand-picked whores, Harry Reid and Boner, Boehner, who they act like are fighting with each other. I mean, this is like a good cop, bad cop scam, or that famous scam where there's a wreck on the highway and you pull over to help him, and the woman says, please help me, and then the boyfriend you know, knocks you on the head, or... They have that famous thing, a scam, where there'll be people fighting in a parking lot, and the woman goes, oh, save me. She gets in the car with you and then puts a gun in your stomach and says, give me all your money. I mean, these guys are such scammers. I mean, look at this filth, meeting with Obama playing golf. <laughs> I mean, I've read the books by Genrich, and he wrote the foreword to Alvin and Heidi Toffler's book calling for an end of America and an end of the Republican world government and socialism. <laughs> It's like Rick Perry, Al Gore's former chief of staff in Texas. <laughs> and this little this little scumbag from Nevada, this little con artist. I mean, these people are so sick. And they think it's so funny. And they hate your guts. And, and the more you're servile, and the more you're gullible, and the more you don't wake up to just how evil they are, the more they can rape you and they love it. They have all this namby pamby, you know, debates out there like you're involved and oh the debt ceiling, what are we gonna do? We've gotta get an agreement. And everybody thinks this is about a debt ceiling, so America doesn't implode. Remember what Paulson told everybody, what they told folks over in Greece a few months ago? You know, if you don't give the bankers trillions more, there'll be blood in the streets and tanks. The same thing was said three years ago in the US. Congress was threatened. But the truth is you give in to them, there'll be total depression. They are ruthless, scumbag criminals. These guys came up from the gutter of politics and showed that they'd sell out their mother for a stick of bubble gum, that they were duplicitous little backroom dealers, and now they're at the pinnacle of whoredom and power and puppetdom because they will do whatever they're told. And only your naivete empowers them. Only the fact that you won't wake up and get angry and realize how this paradigm works. Only that will stop them. Their council of 13, their, all this crap, all their wiretapping and the TSA and the open borders and the North American Union and public agreements to use foreign troops in America and the torture and all the evil in your face while you're busy watching TV. A lot of you won't listen now, but down the road when we're in a total collapse, you'll remember. And remember, they'll be posing as saviors then. But remember... They're the authors of it all. And they're now the 13th Council, the Council of 13, the dictators of the once great United States, the scumbag con artist lawyers that literally suck the blood out of the Republic because we let them do it. Just look at Boehner. <laughs>